Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about De Morgan's Laws and how they apply to computer science and programming. Before watching this video, you're going to want to have a good understanding of Boolean expressions. For more information on that topic, please click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of this screen. If we were doing Boolean algebra, we would probably write them like this. However, for the purpose of this video, we're going to use these English equivalents. Not A or B is equivalent to not A and not B. And the second one, not A and B, is equivalent to not A or not B. Let's look at this Venn diagram. So this A covers everything in the A set. This B covers everything in the B set. This area here covers everything that's both in the A and B set. And this here covers everything that's outside of both the A and the B set. Let's look at the first law. So not A or B. So A or B would be anything in these two circles. So not A or B would be anything outside of these two circles. And let's look at the equivalent, not A and not B. Well, everything outside of these two circles is not A, and it's also not B. So we can say these two are equivalent. Now let's examine the second law. So we have not A and B. Well, A and B would be this area inside here. So everything but this area inside here would be not A and B. We can look at the equivalent. Well, this area is not A, and this area is not B, and this area is both not A and not B. So the only area that isn't not A or not B is this area here. Everything else is either not A or not B. Now let's look at these tables. So this is looking at some equivalents if A and B are Booleans. Here we're using the exclamation point for a not, the double ampersand for and, and the double vertical line for or, as is done in many programming languages. So here we see not A and B. So what we're going to do is we're going to reverse everything inside the parentheses. We reverse A to not A, reverse and to or, and reverse B to not B. Here we have not A or B. So we reverse A to not A, we reverse or to and, and reverse B to not B. Here's an example. Not A equals B. So we can reverse A to not A, equals to not equals, and B to not B. Now traditionally when we want to simplify not A equals B, we do it like this, which is this, this, and this are all equivalent. Now A and B could be numbers instead of being Boolean values. So here we have like not A is greater than B. Now we can't reverse a number, so here what we do is reverse the sign. A common mistake people make is they think the opposite of greater than is less than, but the opposite of greater than is less than or equal to. Also, the opposite of greater than or equal to is just less than. Let's look at a compound Boolean expression and see how we can come up with a simplified equivalent using De Morgan's laws. So we have our not outside some parentheses, A is greater than B, or B is not equal to A. Let's start by making an extra copy of this. We'll get rid of the not, then we'll reverse everything inside the parentheses. So A is greater than B will become A is less than or equal to B. The or will become an and, and the not equals will become an equals. So for any numerical values of A or B, these two will always come up with the equivalent value, either true for both of them or false for both of them. Let's look at another more complex example. Now you see here there's two sets of parentheses. Let's separate this out, and we're going to color code the parentheses. So the red are the outer level, and the green are the inner level. I like to do every level of parentheses as a separate type of problem, and I'll show you how we do that. We'll start by getting rid of the not. Now we're going to reverse A equals B to A is not equal to B. We'll reverse the OR to an AND, 
and then this inner parenthesis will just put a not in front of it. Now we'll make a new problem where we're going to apply this not to this inner set of parentheses. So we'll take away the not, we'll reverse b is greater than or equal to c to b is less than c, we'll reverse the or to an and, and we'll reverse the less than to a greater than or equal to. So now, for any numerical values for a, b, or c, these expressions will always be equivalent. They'll all either evaluate to true or false. To view the next video in this curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To view the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.